Hi, my name is Rami Kim. I'm an instructor at iCode.com. Today, I'm going to show you a tip to fold lightning bugs. Uh, in ancient times in Korea, actually, we call these bats because, you know, Korean people, they thought uh, bats bring money into your household. So it was a very happy thing to make for embellishment. So to make one, you are going to cut one square. And for this technique, I recommend uh, the fabric with no right or wrong side. The reason why is you're going to see both sides. So you cut whatever size of um, the squares, and depending on the size of the squares, you're going to make your lightning bug large or small. So once you cut your squares, and I use a uh, kind of thin tapestry needle, you're going to start rolling from the tip of uh, your squares, because when you have a tapestry needle, it really helps. So I'm going to start rolling. And at one point, you're going to remove your tapestry needle, and you're going to just keep rolling up to the diagonal line. And then you're going to uh, stop, and then you're going to pin like this, okay? And then you're going to start from the other point. Again, you're going to use your tapestry needle and start rolling, and you're going to stop at the diagonal line, you know, again and then you're going to have this. So I, I pin it this way, and then you're going to fold it in a half to show the folds outside, okay, like this. And then you measure from this fold around half an inch to 5 eighths inch. And uh, for the real one, you're going to use the matching threads, okay? And I stitch maybe two times to hold the whole, you know, two folds together. And after that, you're going to wrap around it very tight, and you're going to, th you know, put the needle again to, uh, for the thread, and then you're going to make one more stitch and then make a knot. And then after that, from this uh, the thread, you're measuring around one eighth inch, and you're going to cut with your scissors, and it looks like this. And then you're going to open your folds wide open, and it looks like it's bats or lightning bug. So once it's all done. I use a little bit of fabric glue or just regular, you know, uh, glue. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue at the tip. And then you're going to baste with that glue wherever you want to embellish. Okay, after that baste, you're going to use a thread and needle. You're going to do tacking stitch around lightning bug. In ancient times, ladies, they didn't have glass base, so this was perfect, you know, embellishment for them. Go to my class at iQuilt.com for more fabric folding techniques. Thank you.